Ah. Tube. Oh, here's a tube conduction. Let's open her up. And look at all that melt zone. That beautiful machining. But we need to install our heater and our thermistor. Let's do it. There are two torque screws that are holding the shield onto the block. You remove them like so. It's easy peasy. Next, you will remove the four torque screws that are holding the block inside the shroud. To remove the block, you should twist it inside the shroud first. That makes it much easier to remove. And you can kind of shimmy it out the rest of the way. And it'll fit right back in. Time to BN paste our heater. For the conduction unit, you need to make sure to insert it on the side where the sink has a dip or else your heater will not fit properly. Loosen up the two grub screws that are used on the heater side of the block. Slide your heater in and then tighten them back up. This should help keep you from dropping them. Second verse, same as the first. Let's do it again with the thermistor. Get that BN paste, paste it up. There's the hole. And it'll be time to loosen up that little grub screw. You don't need to loosen it the whole way. It should fit, in, yes, it, it should just fit in there. And then you tighten it back up, but not too tightly. You don't want to damage your thermistor. Line everything back up, like so. And grab those torque screws. It's time to put them back. If you ended up losing any of your torque screws, check the spare hardware baggie that we included with your unit. As you can see, the torque screws are pretty easy to work with, and we hope that you like them. Wonderful. It's time for the shield. Make sure to fully tighten down your shield for your best nozzle fitment. There you have it.